So today uh, we'll be learning the basics of uh, so, there is, so this topic is system refresh or we can call it as system copy okay so what is the... don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos uh, so this term will be totally new to you and what is this actually okay so what happens like so for example this is development server this is quality and this is production that is ect what we installed so what happens sometimes uh, in in many companies what happens like <clears throat> this quality system is basically refreshed refreshed means what system refresh or we can, we call it a system copy means what the total data which is there in ect okay which is production is been copied to quality okay so here it is client refresh also so what we can do is we can we can just segregate this in this way okay so system refresh is nothing but system copy and client refresh client refresh means what so this is the task which we get like okay ecq client 200 needs to be refreshed using ect 200 now can anyone tell me how how this task we can do how we will refresh ecq 200 that is this using this client bd 4 transport no, no, no. Which, uh, which client copy we, we will prefer to do this? A local client copy or remote client copy? Remote client copy. Okay. So basically this task is nothing but remote client copy. Okay. So this is called client refresh. So you know all this task, right? Client refresh. Client refresh is nothing but the remote client copy. It is also called remote client copy. So the data from this will be refreshed with this client okay so you need to use here so here source will be ect and target will be ecq okay and you will use that scc9 transaction here in ecq system okay and you will do the client refresh so this is one of the uh, refresh method and other method is system refresh system refresh means what how the system refresh is done so what we will do is I will just put this as one. Okay. And this is two. Okay. So I will copy this here. Okay. So this will this will be nothing but the remote client copy. So what is system refresh? How this is done? So this, this, we cannot do it practically in, in, in our training because this is very lengthy process. Okay. So here, actually what we do is we take a backup, backup of ECT. Okay. And then we restore that backup in ECQ. We restore backup of ect okay so this is called system refresh so this like when you when you get the opportunity okay to be work as sap basis consultant so maybe immediately you will not get this task to be done but yes this task generally is done by the experienced person even this also remote client copy but uh, Yes, there are lots of steps involved here. So I think uh, uh, once you get experience, then, then it would be more clear. But 
how how this is been done it is it is done like we need to take a backup of ect that is production and then restore in ecq so here how the task will be ecq refresh from ect backup okay so this is all about system refresh and client refresh okay what i will do is i will just copy this now we will discuss on upgrade okay you can say sap upgrade sap slash database upgrade now this is also is been done by the experienced person more than 5 years okay but you need to understand the basic of this how we need to do this sap and database upgrade say for example now can you can uh, can anyone tell me which which version we have installed both for sap and database so first first i will write the os os is nothing but operating system so what is the operating system? system on which you have installed sap windows 2008 so it is so windows 2008 r2 right what is sap sap version i mean sap version it is sap netweaver 7.0 ehp 1 what is ehp ehp is nothing but enhancement package 1 okay what is the database version it is ms sql 2008 this is also r2 i guess right so this So these are the versions on which we have installed, right? Now, if you see, what is the latest version, current version of SAP Netweaver? Current version is SAP seven point five. So this is the older version. Okay. What is the operating system version? i am talking about current version na huh? current operating system version so current operating system version is windows 2019 don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos what about database see concept remains same okay it doesn't matter concept remains same only the only the features will be included in that okay other things remains same so now what will be what is the database current database in ms sql it is 2013 r2 so this is the current version okay now if you ask me now say for example we need to upgrade okay we need to upgrade why we upgrade we already discussed that right we upgrade in order in order to remove the bugs okay and 
make uh, make the system uh, uh, robust with all the security features okay so that's the reason we do the upgrade okay so many companies do the upgrades okay for this reason so now if you see here now how we will be doing this upgrade okay so we need to understand concepts conceptually okay so now say for example you got this task okay now we need to upgrade this okay so what will be the first step the first step will be you first upgrade this database okay now before before upgrading okay we we need to check the compatibility okay whether whether on this windows platform whether if we upgrade ms sql 2008 r2 to directly to 2013 whether it is possible we need to check that compatibility okay if it is possible then what we do we we upgrade this database okay to 2013 version and 